What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be building a rodent rack for my friend John Kimsey at Rocky Top Reptiles that has an unbelievable snake collection and he needs to breed rodents to feed these things because it's getting expensive. We're going to be using these tubs right here that we purchased from Lowe's today. They're about six inches or so deep and about 21 across. 27 this way and we're going to build this frame that goes right on top of here and we'll fasten in between the legs and we're about to show you how to do that this frame here has the half inch screen in it for rats we're going to do three for rats and then we're going to use the quarter inch hardware cloth for the mice all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna build this frame and I'll show you how I built it. This right here is a two by four that I've ripped in half on my table saw. We're using full size two by fours for the legs and we rip the rest of them up to build the frames and the slides, which I'll show you in the next step. So I'm gonna use this countersink bit here and I'm gonna drill in the ends, drill into the ends of these pieces This piece right here is 27 inches. This piece right here is 18 and a quarter. And that's what we figured would uh, work the best on the current setup. <laughs> that worked real good, didn't it? I'm using these uh, construction screws. They're two and a half inches. We bought the two and a half inch, not only so we could use it here, but we can use it on the next step as well, fastening the legs and the slides onto the rodent rack. Okay, so now that we have the outer frame, I'm going to mark an 8 inch spot in here and in that 8 inch spot is where the watering bottle and the food will be placed for the rodents. Okay, so now that we have the frame built, we're going to take the quarter inch hardware cloth. Uh, John went ahead and pre-cut this to the size needed. And I'm going to take my stapler, T50 stapler here. I've got three eighths inch staples in here. And we're going to go around the perimeter and across here and put plenty of staples into the screen. Alright, the next step in this process is going to be adding the legs. I've already got this set up for y'all here on the horses and I went ahead and fastened the top one just so it would stay here and not fall off. And I've marked down, John and I have decided that we're going to add one more rack in the future and I have marked down 12 inches all the way down through here. And that's how far we're going to space them apart. We're going to do the two mice racks at the top and we're going to do the three rat racks at the bottom and the difference is we have half inch hardware cloth on the rats we have quarter inch hardware cloth on the mice so let me lay this down and let's get started currently i'm putting one screw in through this side and once we get it assembled, we'll flip it over and we'll put the other screws in from the outside. So the next step in the process, now that we've got these legs fully screwed in, is to set the tubs in here. We've already done one, but I'm about to show you how we did it, okay? 
So hand me another tub there. We're going to take this tub and we're going to slide it in here just like so. I'm going to get my pre-cut pieces right here, pre-cut to 27 inches. I'm going to slide that right under there and I'll have John help me just lightly hold those in place and I'll pre-drill that and screw it into there and we'll do one from the top as well. Just the same. Just like that right there. And once we get those in there, this tub will slide out just like so. Okay, so we just got this thing finished and John and I stood it up. And I just want you to look at this, guys. We've got them fit in here tight so that they won't come out. But check it out. We wanted them to fit in there super tight so that these rats can't get out. But let me give you the roundabout view here. We've got five different ones. You see where we put these pieces on where I ripped this apart. And you see how I did this. So right here is where he'll put his water bottle that'll go down in there and then he can put the food right here in this top chamber and uh, the rats will eat off of there. Now these top ones up here for the mice are a little bit different since it's got the quarter inch, he'll probably have to snip a little hole right there to fit the watering thing in. And then unfortunately the mice are shorter and he'll have to put the uh, food down in the actual bin for that. But anyways, guys, we built this, we built this right here for, I believe under $120, this whole rack right here. And we have extra, a little bit of extra wood to make the bottom one, a sixth one. And we have a little bit of extra hardware cloth to also make that. So all he's gonna have to buy is an extra bin right here. So like six more dollars and you could have a sixth one down there. So I hope you liked what we did in the video today. Um, if you did, go down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any more videos and I will see you in the next video.